Have you ever stopped and wondered how a massive, bustling hospital actually keeps track of everything? I mean, from the second a patient walks through the door to their lab results, their room number, and that final bill, it all runs on one single, incredibly powerful software system. Today, we're going to pull back the curtain on this digital backbone of modern healthcare. All right, so here's the game plan. First, we're going to define what a hospital information system even is and meet its key components. Then, we'll actually follow a patient's digital journey from start to finish. After that, we'll take a quick peek under the hood to see how it's all connected. And finally, we'll wrap up with the big payoff, how this all makes healthcare safer, faster, and way more organized. So, let's get right to it. First things first, what exactly is a hospital information system anyway? At its heart, a hospital information system, or HIS for short, is this massive all-in-one system that's built to manage, well, pretty much everything. It takes all of a patient's data, their medical history, lab results, x-rays, appointments, and puts it all into one central, secure place. It creates a single, comprehensive record for every person. You know, the best way to wrap your head around this is to think of the HIS as the hospital's brain, its central nervous system. It's the command center that's constantly getting information from every single department, processing it, and making sure every part of the hospital is perfectly in sync. It becomes the one and only source of truth for every patient. Now, here's the thing. An HIS isn't just one giant clunky program. Nope. It's more like a team of specialists, a bunch of different tools or modules that are all constantly talking to each other. So let's meet the key players. All right, these are the heavy hitters. We're talking about dedicated modules for everything, from getting a patient registered and scheduled to tracking exactly where they are in the hospital at any given moment. You've got tools for ordering tests, handling all the billing, managing the electronic health record itself, and even running reports. Each one has a super specific job, so let's zoom in on a couple of them. So first up is the ADT module. This one sounds simple, but it's absolutely critical. Its entire job is to know who is where in real time. The moment a patient is admitted, moved from the ER to a room, or discharged to go home, the ADT system logs it. This isn't just nice to have, it's vital for keeping the whole hospital on the same page. Here's a great way to picture it. Imagine the ADT is like a giant departures and arrivals board at a train station. It's tracking every single passenger's arrival, their movements between different platforms like the ICU and a regular ward, and their final departure. It creates a perfect record of their entire journey. Okay, next up, we've got Computerized Order Entry, or CPOE. This is a huge one. It gets rid of all those old school paper prescriptions and test requests. You know, the ones with the doctor's chicken scratch? With CPOE, a doctor can order a blood test or a CT scan right in the system, and that order gets zapped instantly to the right department. No more lost paper, no more bad handwriting. And get this, this is a massive safety feature. The system can even flag potential drug allergies right on the spot. Honestly, the easiest way to think about CPOE is like an Amazon shopping cart, but for doctors. The physician just adds the tests and medicines they need to the patient's cart, checks out, and all the right departments immediately get the notification to fulfill the order. It's super efficient, and, you guessed it, it slashes the number of potential errors. Okay, so we've met the individual players, but how do they actually work together as a team? Let's put this all into action and follow a patient's journey to see how these modules create a seamless experience. I mean, it's all great in theory, right? But what does this actually look like when you, as a patient, walk through the door? What does your digital footprint really look like? So picture this. A patient arrives. Boom. Step one. Registration creates their digital file and their unique medical record number. Next, they're admitted, and the ADT module logs their exact room assignment. Then, the doctor uses the CPOE module to order a chest x-ray. Instantly, that order zips over to the imaging department's to-do list. As soon as the scan's done, the results are attached right back to that central patient record. And all the while, behind the scenes, the billing module has already automatically added the charge. See? It's one smooth, connected digital workflow. All right, so we've seen what it does, and we've walked through an example. But how does it all actually connect? Let's pop the hood for just a second and see how the technology makes all this seamless coordination happen. The secret sauce is something called a client-server architecture. Sounds complicated, but it's really not. All you need to know is that you have all these client devices, think computers at the nurses' stations, tablets doctors are carrying, and they all connect to one central powerhouse server. And that server is where the magic happens. 
It holds the database, that single source of truth we keep talking about. And let me tell you, this centralized setup is an absolute game changer. In the old days, every department had its own little island of information, these things we call information silos. It was a mess. You'd have different, outdated info all over the place. But now, there's just one source of truth. A lab tech enters a result, and boom, the doctor on a totally different floor sees it instantly. But wait, you might be thinking, isn't it risky to have all that sensitive data in one spot? Absolutely which is why security is baked in from the ground up. First, you've got role-based access, which just means a billing person can't peek at a doctor's clinical notes. Then all the data is encrypted, basically scrambled so it's unreadable to outsiders. And finally, audit logs track everything. Every click, every view, it's all recorded. Which brings us to the big finish, the so what. Why do hospitals pour millions of dollars into these incredibly complex systems? Well, it all comes down to the payoff, for patients and for staff. And this quote right here just kneels it. The whole point is to tear down those walls between departments. It's all about getting the right information to the right person at the right time, every single time. So if you need one last analogy, think of the HIS as the hospital's air traffic control tower. It's safely and efficiently directing the flow of everything, patients, data, resources, the whole nine yards. And the result of that, fewer delays, way fewer errors, and the big one, better, safer outcomes for patients. So, in the end, if the HIS is the hospital's brain, it's also its digital heart. It's pumping that critical, life-saving information to every single corner of the building, making sure the entire organization is beating in perfect rhythm. And that leaves us with a pretty cool question to think about. We know the HIS is the digital nervous system of today's hospital. But with technologies like AI and predictive analytics just exploding onto the scene, what's next? How will the hospital's nervous system of tomorrow not just react, but maybe even predict, think, and act on its own?